Hello and welcome to the video. This is Tom from MagnaCAD and I figure I'd tackle something that some customers have bring up time to time and that's crazy parting lines. Uh, for injection molding customers that are always looking for easier ways to, to create their cores and cavities. I figure I'd make this short little demo for you to, to give you the basics. All right, so let's get into it. We're gonna go into a 3D scene and we're gonna come over to here and we're just gonna drag in a block. So the idea here is we wanna split this block into a core and cavity using some crazy parting lines. Okay, so how you would do that is basically uh, what you wanna do is split each of the four surfaces using a, a curve or some sort of geometry then drafting uh, the um, along the parting line and then using those edges to create a cutting tool to part it all right so that's the process let's get into it so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our 3d curve and i'm just going to do some crazy curves along a, each surface here okay whoops i didn't want to do that all right let's do it again just picking anywhere all right that's one and then I'm gonna do one on this face and I always want to pick the end of the last one because it wouldn't make sense to split here and there well I shouldn't say that it could potentially happen that way but in this demo it's just easier to show you clicking here like this for time's sake all right so one more we're going to click from that here here and then there okay now we have our four curves on each side these are our parting lines so now the next trick is to split each face in two so we'll come over to our feature tool with we'll all the split faces and the type of split we want to use is a curve on a face because we already drew the curves on the face and in red it tells you what it's looking for so you pick the face you want to split and you can pick multiple ones but in this case I just want to do that one click in here so this turns red and then pick the curve okay and we're good and we go around and do the same thing it remembers the last face curve okay face curve okay face curve okay alrighty I'll hide our curves for the moment so we're just gonna hide those and you can see we have all four um, faces split now a lot of people you can come in here and pick the faces and you can actually get handles and remove material or add material all right it's a nice way to um, split faces if you want to do some extra geometry but in this case all we want to do is draft along this parting line so we go to draft faces here and we pick the parting line option it's asking for the neutral plane so I'll just pick the top face because the tool is going to be pulling up and down then come here and pick the parting plane and you see a preview of the draft let's do something you can see better 10 degree draft there and we'll go around and just pick all the edges and say okay and we now draft it along that parting line all around okay and we'll do the same going downwards so we'll pick a parting plane neutral plane here pick the same parting properties but see it wants to do the top so you just click on the arrow to flip it to the other side we don't want it to get bigger we want it to get smaller so we'll say negative 10 that looks good and then again go around flip it so it points in the right direction that one does and say okay and now we have the draft both positive and negative along the whole parting line alright now with that being 
said, we're going to turn everything back on. I'm going to hide the part for a minute because what we're going to do here is we're going to use these uh, curves to create a surface that's going to cut the part into two pieces. So by doing that, I'm just going to go to the surfacing here and I'm going to do a loft surface. So it's looking for loft curves, so I'm going to pick two loft curves, and then I'm going to pick guide curves here, and pick the two guide curves, and you can see a preview of that surface. Say OK, and there's our surface, and that will be our cutting tool. We don't need these 3D curves anymore. I'll turn on the original part. OK, and now we can split it. Being that we use the same curves to create the surface and we didn't edit anything we don't have to extend the surface beyond these borders you can if you wanted to um, I'll show you that how it works we don't really need to but I'll show it anyway so what you can do is you can come to the extend surface and say I'm going to extend each edge maybe an eighth of an inch you just pick it and you see it extends the surface for you all around. Some people like to do that just to play it safe. Now when you turn everything on you see it extends beyond the part. Alright, again you didn't have to do that I just wanted to highlight that for you. Now that we got everything ready we pick the part we want to split. Hold the uh, shift key in this case. Yeah, hold the shift key and pick the cutting tool and then come over to your browser here and say split the preview and say OK. And now it's split. You see we have two parts. So this will be our cavity. And this will be our core. OK. And if you, you want to see the difference, we just drag the parts colors in here so you can see that these are both two independent parts. And now if we use the try ball here, move it up, say an inch. So we have a perfectly cut parting line. Okay, at this point you can start modifying these parts as needed. If you need to add more detail. You could actually add the detail before splitting if you want, but there's more ways than one to skin a cat here with iron cat. This is just one way. Alright, I hope you find this useful. And if you uh, have any questions or want more information, just reach out to me at tom at magnacad.com. Be more than willing to help. All right, enjoy.